I'm Mike Sokol, and welcome to the How-To Seminars and the No Shock Zone. This is a demonstration of the Ideal Industries Sure Test Circuit Analyzer. We're determining its ability to detect a reverse bootleg ground. And as you can see, I have three outlets wired as before. One that's wired correct ground, and our little three light tester shows the two amber lights and no red lights, so it knows that it's correctly grounded. We have a bootleg ground where the ground and neutral pins have been tied together. It still shows that it's correct when, in fact, um, this is not a code legal outlet box. We plug it into the reverse bootleg ground. It still shows it's correct, even though on a reverse bootleg um, ground, we have the ground and the neutral tied together and sitting at 120 volts. I can demonstrate that with a little amp probe, volt probe. You can see I have a, uh, I show hot, no blinking on neutral, nothing on ground, but hot is hot. Reverse bootleg shows the same thing. Hot is blinking, nothing on neutral, nothing on ground, hot is good. Reverse bootleg because the neutral and the ground are sitting at 120 volts above earth potential. No matter where I get close to the front of it, neutral, hot, ground, and this is a uh, plastic box. It will show that this whole thing is hot, and indeed it is. Okay, let's try our sure test analyzer. We plug this in to the correctly grounded outlet. We get our three lights hot, ground, and neutral, so it shows that the polarity on this box is correct. We plug this into a correct polarity bootleg ground and it shows the hot and neutral are correct but it shows an F blinking in the middle of the ground pin which shows we have a false ground basically it knows that the ground connection is so short uh, that it must be a bootleg ground however if we plug it into a reverse bootleg ground it doesn't know the difference it does not know that this neutral and ground pin are sitting at 120 volts above ground. It, it still indicates the polarity is correct, but it does tell us that we have a false ground or what I deem a bootleg ground. That's why we're recommending a secondary test using something like an amp probe volt probe in order to double check and make sure that you do not have a reverse polarity bootleg ground, which can be very dangerous if you plug any grounded appliances into it. I'm Mike Sokol, and thanks for watching.